That's right, the big day is tomorrow. Burlington residents will decide who they want to be mayor. But first, the candidates went out in the community today just to remind people how important it is to get out and vote. You can see it and hear it. I love her vision for the city. The town meeting day spirit. This is uh, one of the things that we do in the Burlington elections. Get the word out to anyone who still is undecided. Before Burlingtonians head to the polls, independent mayoral candidate Karina Driscoll and incumbent mayor Moreau Weinberger took to the streets alongside their supporters. I think Moreau has done a phenomenal job as mayor over the past six years. A final push to remind folks what they stand for. Think about how far we've come in the last six years together and uh, how exciting the next three years will be if we keep moving forward. City Hall has been working very hard for private interests in the city and really the people who live here have fallen off their priority list. Meanwhile, the third mayoral candidate, Infinite Colclesure, opted for a more subtle way to remind residents to cast their ballot, walking door to door and calling potential voters. The folks who we um, are really relying on to win this election, I don't have a lot of time on their hands. You know, they're, they're working two jobs and, you know, they're taking care of their family. His own team of supporters helping to get the job done. Infinite is really the only candidate in this race that lives his values and has the experience of the people who need help in Burlington. On Tuesday, voters will make a decision whether to re-elect the mayor for three more years. <laughs> or move in a different direction. And if there's still people out there who aren't sure where their polling place is, we'll have a link on our website, mynbc5.com, with all the tools you need to know before casting your ballot tomorrow. For now, live in Burlington tonight, Helena Batapaglia, NBC5 News.